Hi, my dear. Uncle Demi. Here I am. How are you? My dear, continually chapter 11, Water Ship Management, Part C, Runoff. Generally, when precipitation occurs, part of it will be absorbed by the ground and lost by deep pressure, while another part intercepted and depression by the vegetation in addition to lost the part by evaporation. On the other hand, the remaining accumulation part overflow at high velocity toward ditches, the wild lakes, seas, and or oceans at surface or subsurface flow which is known as runoff. Taking consideration that using the term runoff is usually meaning surface runoff. Look my dear, catchment area at British terminology is the area which always contribute and catch in surplus water runoff. Take in consideration that the American usually using watershed as an absolutely term instead of catchment as shown in the enclosed figure. Vectors affecting runoff. Really, there are many vectors affecting runoff such as precipitation, watershed characteristics, land topography, geological feature, meteorological data, vegetation cover, and the human activities. Number one, precipitation. Rainfall duration in Tennessee influence the rate and volume of runoff. As total runoff for a storm is clearly related to the duration for a given in Tennessee, logically. Soil infiltration rate will decrease with time in the initial stages of a storm. Thus, a storm of a short duration may not produce any runoff, whereas a storm which has the same intensity but for long duration usually causing a runoff. Look, my dear, watershed characteristics. Runoff from watershed depends on size shape and topography of its area. As example, a case of long narrow watershed well leaf shapes, the tributaries and streams are generally have different places and connecting the main stream at an irregular distance and so the runoff in tennis should be less convulsively. A case of white band shapes, watershed, the tributaries and streams have the same sizes approximately, in addition to overflow at the same time on the main street, which is meaning has high runoff intensity. Figure showing different shapes of catchment or watershed area. Look my dear, it is so easy, as explained. Look, my dear, topography features such as slope of upland area, degree of development, and gradient of tributaries and streams extend, and number of depressed areas also affect on rate and volume of runoff. Moreover, soil characteristics play also an important role depending on its post infiltration rate and water holding capacity. Look my dear, meteorological data. Really, runoff intensity is affected also by the prevailing climate conditions on the catchment area such as temperature, wind velocity, and humidity. Also, vegetation and the agricultural blacks influence on runoff intensity as vegetation retarding water flow and so increasing the storage capacity of soil which effect on reducing peak of runoff rates. Also, human activity as hydraulic structures such as culverts, bridges, reservoirs, and barriers have a significant influence on runoff rates. Estimate 
transmission of runoff. Really, there are different methods which can be used for smashing runoff and overflow, such as empirical turbulence, volumetric estimation, and stream flow. Number one, empirical turbulence. Really, it is important to calculate the expected runoff rate for achieving the purpose of designing and direction the required hydraulic structure, as shown in the enclosed equations and table. Look, my dear, this method is considered sufficiently accurate for estimating runoff in the relatively inexpensive structure design. Look, my dear, table showing runoff coefficient values of rational formula. Cox method. Really, runoff was established by Cox and originally developed Mayu as soil conservation service as requiring some assessment of main factors affecting runoff, such as vegetation cover, soil tar, drainage, and slope, which is arithmetically sum of these factors, as shown in the enclosed table. Moreover, runoff coefficient is a relation between runoff and rainfall intensity and can be expressed as shown in the closing equation. Table showing Cook's watershed characteristic values. Moreover, table showing the estimation of Cook's values of runoff according to watershed area and watershed characteristic values. Look, my dear, runoff coefficient depend logically on all vectors affecting runoff and can be obtained from the enclosed table with showing Pablo's runoff coefficient percentage and its correction vector at different rainfall seasons and watershed. Look, my dear, number two, volumetric estimation. Really, it is important to estimate the total volume of runoff which may become from a watershed that's known as water yield. Volumetric estimation mainly depends on recording rainfall, stream flow maps, and data in addition to watershed soil characteristics and consequently can be done by different methods such as mass rainfall infiltration method. Normally, soil infiltration rate under rainfall beginning rapidly depending on soil characteristics, which is known as an instantaneous infiltration rate. Hence, consequently start for decreasing gradually with time reaching to an unconscious rate, which is known as basic infiltration rate, which is average rate defining by W index. Look, my dear. Any excess of rainfall than zero point will be considered theoretically equal to surface runoff and its duration is also known as effective duration, which consequently can be estimated as shown in the enclosed equation and figure also. Figure showing the estimation of runoff by rainfall imputation method. Basic hydrograph method. Really, this method is based on developing a design hydrograph from basic hydrograph as shown in the following steps. Follow it my dear by yourself is so easy as shown in the cross figure. Plotting a basic flood hydrograph with presentation and relation between flow again is time as shown in the enclosed figure. My dear, developing the design hydrograph from the basic hydrograph by using a conversion vector as shown in the enclosed equation.
Look, my dear, on the design hydrograph, one one hundred of the peak flow time, one one hundred of the runoff duration should be equal to one fascia of the flood volume, just as on the basic hydrograph, as shown in the enclosure. Soil Conservation Service Formula Really? It is shown in front of you, my dear. Follow it by yourself. Take into consideration that S values are shown in the enclosed table. Runoff Nemograph Method It is a quick method for estimating runoff from a small watershed area. Take into consideration that Values of runoff coefficient is shown in the enclosed table. Figure showing the graph for estimating runoff of small watersheds. My dear, follow the example shown in front of you. It is so clear. Runoff Shiro's method. Really, it is done also as alternate method for smitting runoff depending on the effect of different variables in the watershed that defined also by U.S. Soil Conservation Service as shown in the enclosed table. Table showing runoff curve numbers according to the different variables of watershed area. Figure showing runoff curves, showing the relation between runoff and rainfall under different runoff curves number. Moreover, there are many practical methods which can be more and used for measuring the runoff flow in streams by determining the mean velocity by different methods which explain before. Estimation of surluses. Really, Estimating soil losses is more difficult than estimating runoff as there are many variables influencing this process such as soil type, degree and length of land slope, cultivation cover and its rotation, fertility, rain duration and its intensity, soil irritability and conversion production. Accordingly, there are several appropriate models used for different regions such as Brown equations as shown in front of you, my dear. Follow it. It is so easy and clear. Figure showing different soil erosion factors curves according to Browning's equation. Runoff control. Control of runoff from sloping land should be done in a controlled manner to lower area from dissipation its flow energy. Accordingly, it is important to erect some control structure of runoff to intercept the development of water flow and decrease its velocity, which consequently protect the cultivated area, roads, and farm buildings from damage in addition to diversion water pathways to ponds, safe outlets, and all reservation structures, such as ditches, really. There are many types of dishes differ on each size and weight, depth, length, shape, and construction use material depending on the main purpose of installation. Water wells. Really, it is necessary under large runoff volumes to supplement water wells to carry and conducting the largest charge of runoff from terracing system, contour falls different ditches and emergency spillways to reservation ponds or protecting area, as shown in the enclosed figure and table. Figure showing cross-sections and dimensions of different waterway shapes. Look, my dear, an important table showing shapes, protection media, flow velocity, slopes, 
and use condition for different types of water wise. Dikes and water barriers, really, it is a type of protection devices against runoff flow and many consist of high pumps constructed by using either the natural soil materials or other locally housed strength materials such as gravels, pebbles, palace or stone. Goodbye.